moving along because we have a full afternoon. And uh, so let's turn our attention now from Solars to uh, open sourcing creativity by introducing to the stage Intu Intuino. Intuino. Salut le web, je suis Federico. I'm uh, Intuino CTO and uh, co-founder. I'm here to answer about uh, further um, technical questions, but for uh, presentation is Marco's time. So, show time. Good afternoon. My name is Marco Bestonza, and I'm the CEO and founder of Intuino. We are here today to share the vision we have about innovation with all of you. We believe anyone in this world has great ideas that can really change the world itself. It doesn't really matter if he's an engineer from the MIT or a kid from Africa. We should all have the same opportunity to bring our ideas to life. Unfortunately, today, the number of ideas that gets transferred to society uh, for the benefit are very few. We think this is unethical, and we wanted to find a solution for the people to bring their ideas to life, and we called it Intuino. Simply put, it's like IKEA, but instead of building furniture, you can build DIY electronics and Internet of Things without having a technical background and making money out of it. We are based uh, in an open source platform, which is called Arduino. It's the best open source platform in the world, where you can basically create systems like tweeting plants when they need water, or like this 14 years old boy that he's been creating a Twitter alarm for earthquakes. Uh, anticipating of one year a governmental project. So basically, it's a small microcomputer that you can stick sensor and listen to the world. But we wanted more. We wanted to give an opportunity for the people to create with something they had in the pocket, maybe without programming, so that anyone could bring their ideas to life. This is why we created Intuino. It's an open source hardware platform, which is basically composed of a Wi-Fi antenna, and an application for smartphone and tablets, which is a sort of an app store driving uh, Arduino code and actions. And you can buy also the sensor that you need. But let's take a look at how it works, because it's easy to see. Oops, sorry. This is an example. Here we wanted to create, um, basically, something that sends a tweet if something is changing. And we designed, for example, an application that uh, if a cat is moving, uh, he's going to send a Twitter. Uh, so you just need to connect, like Lego, some sensor. We also add an LED to see what happens. As soon as you launch the application with a drag and drop, you see a Twitter notification of the status of the LED. And as soon as you move it, the status can change. And everybody can do this. And you receive a Twitter notification. If you're an artist, for example, and you want to create light effects, but you're not fond about electronic and technology, drag and drop the icon for LEDs lighting up. And in a few seconds, you're going to see what you had in mind into reality. Or maybe you want to make something more mechanical, like driving curtains or some engine. Then we're going to show you, we teach you which is the sensor you have to stick. You stick on it, you drag and drop the icon uh, which is driving the motor, and in a few seconds, it's going to go. Well, this is only the mechanics on how Intuino works, but the application can be sticked together to create programs. And the application goes from the modics. For example, you can have a message when the laundry is ready because it stops shaking. Or you can have an SMS when your dog needs food or water, creating for designer beautiful e -clothes. Or in this world of open innovation, where who wins is the one that makes more innovation, new ideas, so very short time, this kind of technology can reduce time to market and costs. And of course, we focus as well on medical technology because there is a broad portfolio of sensor that you can stick on your body and listen to what you have to say. Imagine what you can, what you can do if you have Intuino and a 3D printer. You can basically digitally design and manufacture your final product staying at home. And the limit is just your imagination, and it's already started. So applications are basically infinite. Intuino is also a social product development platform where people can jointly contribute to the creation of an idea. And in our website, tons of ideas from the community will be uh, filtered by the Intuino funnel. And only the best idea will be selected to become an open source product, which is going to be distributed globally. And we will apply revenue share with inventors so that anyone will have uh, his part. So our value proposition is basically that anyone is able of creating product ideas together. And it's convenient, because it can, can profit from them. 
the revenue model is very simple. We want to become sustainable by sailing our small antenna, the Intuino bulb, and the community uh, idea distribution. The market we're actually facing is called the open source hardware, which is estimated to be 1 billion in 2015. Singularity University, the Washington Post, the economists, everyone is talking about this fourth revolution that we also want to drive. It's called the DIY and make a revolution, bringing the people an opportunity to bring their own ideas to life. And VC, as well as Kickstarter project, has been already investing a lot of uh, millions in these kind of projects. The market feedback, we were born uh, four months ago. We are very young, winning the Startup Weekend Kaufman Foundation from Torino. And we already had a lot of free requests to work from Switzerland, Oxford. We've been interviewing key opinion leaders from the sector, and we've been featuring different articles. In 48 hours since we launched our website, we already had 100 mail of requests of willingness to purchase the product and partnership from automation, automotive, medtech, pharma, IT, and marketing. I need to thank my team, which is composed of great uh, entrepreneur and freelancer. And we're based in Italy, but geographically independent because we're selected by passion. So I hope anyone can start inventing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to ask you to stand right there and see that little spot you're standing on. That's what, there we go. I'm a little bit concerned about what will happen if my dog has a sensor to tell me when to feed it, but um, it will be, I will have a very large dog, I'm afraid. Questions, please. So if I understand correctly, the basic value is that you allow people who aren't technical to create programs for the Arduino platform. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I think Arduino is super cool, but it's, it's already kind of a niche product already. It's very popular with hobbyists, but maybe not that well known by the general public. And then you're kind of narrowing it down even more to people who know about it but aren't technical, which is probably at this point the major market for it. You know, what gives you a sense as to how many people there are today who want to use it besides just the numbers? Like when you guys were thinking about doing this, why did you think? We really need to get non-technical people involved now in, in creating applications for their, for their Arduino. Sure. Um, of course, we have a barrier that we need to overcome. Uh, we've been setting up uh, on our business plan a very tight uh, promotion campaign for bringing uh, the knowledge of our product into the people that normally uh, is not technical. Uh, we'll have a marketing campaign, which is mixing online, offline marketing, so regular, regular marketing. Uh, we'll promote a lot of hackathons and uh, maker spaces in, uh, in the community at the European level at the beginning. Uh, as an advantage, we're really well connected with the key opinion leader in this kind of sector, which is actually, we are living in a time of history where actually uh, technology is coming closer and closer to us. For example, we did everything do-it-yourself for our company, the website, from the technology and everything. So we will try to surf this wave, which is already on, but focusing on a very tight promotion campaign. For example, we had our GAN project for five years, and we've been fulfilling the, the whole 2013 with events at global level. Uh, for example, one of them was the web. So we are just following pretty much what we've been uh, uh, thinking to do. And of course, we will try to target this kind of events which mix common people who love design technology with, with uh, uh, also more technical people like TED and this kind of events too. We exactly know who we want and who will love our idea, but we also had to think very specifically to how to get them. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Um, so I'm questioning the size of the addressable market. That seems low. One billion addressable market in 2015. Where does that figure come from? What country is it restricted well, well, to? That data comes from the Open Source Hardware Association, but that's the market of open source hardware. In Twino market service, uh, serviceable, uh, the, well, the total addressable market is basically the people that has a connected phone, which is 1.1 billion people. Then if we go down to our uh, serviceable addressable market, then it goes down to the people that has a technical background that has the idea on the back of the head, so students, designer, makers, these kind of people, and it goes down to 700 million on the countries that we selected to launch for the forces that we have at the moment. Uh, the, the serviceable and obtainable market is even smaller, of course. This is where we want to go. 
and it's about 250 million people. And we want to focus in the first year uh, to, to uh, sorry, in five years span to address uh, this this market. But it's going to be more likely that uh, in four years we'll address uh, 100,000 people. I'd love to know how you do that and what, how big your team is going to need to be in order to do it, that. It needs to grow, of course. At the, at the moment, it's nine people, okay? So, but uh, of course, if you need to face a global challenge, the team definitely has to grow. Um, this is why we've been structuring uh, in two phases our business. Uh, the first phase is basically based on the creation of uh, the community, which is going to sustain uh, this, the whole system. And this is what we're going to do the first year. And then we will go through the launch of the, the challenges for the new ideas. And then we will be ready and sustainable for, for facing this challenge. So what I hear you saying is stay very focused initially so that you can go out back out to those rings of opportunity. Is that correct? Yes. We start local from the beginning. So we have uh, a local heart with a global DNA since the beginning. Start uh, and getting global. And we are very proud to be to show also to Europe that even the Mediterranean region has the willing uh, to, to, to grow and access this crisis. And I'm very proud to represent my country here today. Excellent. Well, we're very pleased to have you with us. Thank you very much for your presentation. Good luck in the competition and, and with the business. Thank you very much.